Thank you, Vivian, and thank you, all of you, who are manifesting the spirit of love in a most unique manner. As a patient, I am here to thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of hundreds of thousands of patients here in your state of Washington and hundreds of millions around the world, all of whom want their voices heard. All of them are giving thanks to the Creator for a wonderful gift that alleviates their symptoms to many illnesses, and it is called cannabis. We called it marijuana and tried to demonize it by changing its name, but the miracle kept proclaiming itself. And today, everything I wear, from my toes to my head, is made from that beautiful plant that God gave us and said, here, take care of your planet. Yeah. We are so fortunate to have so many of you who have taken a stand for either the environment, the destruction to the ocean that's being provided by this prohibition, whether you are constitutionalists and know that the supreme law of the land cannot be trashed in this fashion while we stand by and do nothing. We are human beings with a heart and a soul and a spirit that unites with those behind bars who have committed no crime, they simply found a wiser bud. No. And so it is really, really a privilege to say to you, thank you for having changed this laws here in the state of Washington. That is not only because you have patience here, but because you are aiding that light of day to come shining through the rest of the world. The dark night of ignorance is over, and people like you have brought in the new day as we face the new millennium. Your legislators can no longer hide from you and say, hey, we can't have this. This will be political suicide. Another election is coming, and you're going to get answers from them, and you're going to kick the ones out of office who denied the voters' power and the voters' rights. But there is someone with me who is a hero in our area. He's been a, uh, an advocate for many, many issues, and especially for medical marijuana and law and behalf. He became a patient eventually as well. He just went through about with horrible cancer and I he can tell you his story I won't be singing to you today because I want Norman to speak to you and I want you to stop by the Green Cross and pick up a copy of this tape called the war on us they're behind the stage thank you they're behind the stage the Green Cross thank you I'm Norm Kent Elby's attorney I had the opportunity to speak earlier and Elby asked me to address you again at the end of my talk, I simply ask that what matters most is that all of us individually, collectively, as a group, as a community, and we truly are a community here today, stand up and be counted that we create the world we live in by each and every choice we make every day. And to have the courage to come out of the closet and speak up and say cannabis prohibition is wrong is the beginning to the end of that prohibition. What Elvi Musica did 12 years ago this week in a Fort Lauderdale courtroom was say no to injustice, to stand up to prosecutors that wanted to put her in jail, to stand up to the judge in the criminal justice system that criminalized marijuana. She said, no, I will not take a plea. I demand the right to go to a jury trial. I want the right to advocate for a court of law and a community of my citizens that using marijuana medicinally is in fact not a criminal act, but a just act, a righteous act, a moral act. And she took that stand. She was willing to go to prison to fight for it. And the jury and the judge acquitted her and found her not guilty. And what really happened there that day is that the criminal justice system was saying that the laws are guilty and that we are innocent that the laws are unjust and criminal, and that we are the not guilty ones. 
And it is criminal to lock people up and put them in jail for the simple possession of marijuana. And it is unjust to seize your car and take your property and deny you student loans and prevent you from teaching in community schools. It's wrong, it's unjust, and you, you must individually stand up and be counted today so that you don't become the criminal, the accused criminal tomorrow, so that you won't have to stand up in a court of law and choose between whether or not you want your freedom or to cop a plea and accept drug testing. So join with me, join with me, and say these words out loud. Embolden yourself. I am not a criminal. I am not a criminal. I am not a criminal. Well, maybe you. All right, now, <laughs> listen, each and every time you stand up for an injustice, like this vast and beautiful ocean, you send out a ripple and a wave of hope, and you educate the ignorant. So don't be afraid to go home today, tomorrow, and next week. And when they ask you where you were on Sunday, say, I took part in the road to justice. I went to the Seattle Hemp Fest. I was part of a new tomorrow. And I understand, I just found out coming from Fort Lauderdale and Vivian, I'm finished. I heard that they, they there's some sort of restriction about putting up posters. I, I didn't see anything about this in the big shot Seattle Times, maybe the stranger in the other papers. The way the mainstream community will be turned around is when you show that you are very much a part of the mainstream. Your participation here is it. And LB, LB wants to say one last thing. I'm very, very sorry, but in our state we have some very special heroes such as Norman and a man named Joe Hart. He, re he recently defended and who just passed away. So say a minute prayer for him. Thank you, Seattle. We love you. Yeah. Thank you so much, LB and Norm.